Okay, this is fascia. I'm going to let this play as I explain something here. This is what is inside and I am going to show you that it is attaches to every single cell. And I believe inside of these little tiny um, tubes, which are the fascia, fascia tubes, there is literally water in there and that water literally programs and sends signals all around your body and communicates and is the thing that does that and I will show you what I mean by that in one second and I also believe it is the uh, representative that comes around and tells each cell what it will be for cell differentiation this explains uh, embryonic uh, fascia and where the fascia invests and they call it the trigger points and yes there are trigger points and there are investment points and they actually are correspondent to the ancient uh, Chinese acupuncture points they have found. It's, it's very very incredible how much has been missed of our ancient past. And how much is being missed now? It's obvious and it should be examined. So uh, that's the last word I have on it. Okay, it's me again, voice of Mud Fossil University, this time um, exploring the inner workings of cellular life. Uh, we study everything, we look at everything, we deny nothing, we ignore nothing, and we claim nothing other than what we display, and this is what I am displaying. And I'm working with one of my uh, very esteemed researchers in Czechoslovakia, um, Val. And uh, we're working on this right now. And I believe this is a cell in the midst of division. And I believe also that cells differentiate, as we all know. Certain cells become eyeballs and certain cells become of fingernails and such. They, as you develop, those cells must be instructed immediately. They say at a certain stage they get cell differentiation. That might be true. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I can't dispute it. However, I can see that I, and I believe that it is instructional fascia, and I am going to call it primordial fascia that does the instruction on each cell and I can see this possibly in some of the pictures that I will show you but what I am seeing here you see this outline here that is the cell membrane and if you look at that cell membrane closely you can actually see that it has the double cell layer and that's as close as I can get but you can see, it's called the um, hydrophilic, hydrophobic action, was the aqueous stays out there and this and that water, and one's repels and one attracts. Anyway, I believe that is the embryo right there. Now, I also believe that this has something to do, there's blood right here, and it pipes up to here, and then there's some kind of a flange. This cascades away all kinds of information another one is setting up here the blood same as here it's going to lead up to a, 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 a pool up here they both have the outline there they both have this mineralization that's happening and then there is a tremendous amount of um, a fibril activity around the edges and it's specifically here because I believe this is the point where it will spread and I can actually see in later pictures the DNA developing in like spikes all straight across it's very 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 interesting and um, I don't know this is some kind of a fluid that's in the outside but you see these spikes here you see all these lines all over the place that's fascia. You see this over here, fascia? You see this over here, fascia? It's loaded with fascia everywhere. See the fascia, fascia, fascia? See fascia over here? Fascia is all over your entire body, every single cell. And this is like one cell. It's got the zillion pieces of fascia touching it. And they wrap all around this as it develops. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, get ready. Here it is today. All right, let's move in and take a look at what's happened here. You see all of this down here? 
See all that? That is sending out the signals, I believe, from the uh, nucleus of this particular cell to a division, a cell that is beginning to divide. And that is the dividing line right there. Now, you see this here? Whoops, you can't see that. Hold on. All right, let's look at this right here. You see this red blood leading up to this flary looking thing? Let's see what that flary looking thing is. You see that? Whatever that flary looking thing is, it feeds all of this fiber activity down the side of the nucleus. Now, we go to the division that's coming up of the new one, and here again is that blood leading over to a, a, the lake of whatever that stuff is, cellular stuff. And there's a lot of minerals collecting in this area and collecting over here that are getting ready to, to feed this new cell development, it looks to me. And uh, you see what you see here? That is not um, just waves of nothing. That, I believe, is the DNA. And there is two sets, both sides have their, see this is the, the break right down, whoops, you can't see that, can you? Alright, over here. That's the break right down the center. Alright. And this is starting to create its own DNA, and this is starting to create its own DNA. It looks to me, I could be totally wrong. But, we also have another one over in this area and that one is creating its own cell clusters and for, you can see it's come in here you see that red blood uh, somehow it's it's been sent into here I, I mean I was just telling you what I see I don't know how to explain this other than to tell you what I see and this particular cell here the original cell appears to be programming that cell or they are twins. I don't know. I, I really have no clue at this point. But you could see all of the five whoops, you can't see that, I'm sorry. You see over here? You see all the fibers going across here? You see it's attack go just, just, just going from here to there. It's, it's, I'm, 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 I'm talking to you is what it's saying. Hey, hey, you over there, I'm talking to you. Same thing here. You see? And it swished its way over towards that thing. You see that? It headed right over there to collect into it. You can see the tracer behind it, see? And you see the tracer behind this one. Hold on, you can't see that well either, can you? You see the tracer behind that one? And you see the tracer behind the whole thing over here. They're trying to get together. You can see, it's like, you see a wave coming at it. Woof. And this one, I, I'm showing you what we're seeing. This is the first time photography that's ever been taken like this. And, and, and we're just asking, could this be cells? We don't know. We have no idea. It could be or it couldn't be. But I can tell you one thing, there's stuff here it is very, very hard to explain. Look at this. This is the cell membrane. You see that? And that goes around this entire structure here. Now, you see off to the sides here, you see that? That's the fascia, you see it? Now, if you look in real, real close, you can actually see that there are blocks within these fascia tubes. Fascia is a little tiny tube that has water inside of it and um, I can actually see that there is little blocks in there and it is a possible thinking now that fascia is actually the um, uh, fiber optics of your body. Uh, it communicates to every cell. I mean you could see in this one particular cell there is billions, well, I don't know, billions, but there's certainly thousands and thousands that wrap. And here's that place I showed you with all that different activity. And here it is now. 
in this structure it's pretty much sealed off all it's sent out all its fibrils or whatever you want to call those things uh, fascia fibrils I guess you'd call them and uh, and now it's sealed up and, and uh, it's starting to pinch that 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 uh, off and as far as DNA goes let me see if I can find some very good oh look at this piece right here this is an outstanding piece of DNA as far as I'm concerned I think that is DNA and it is forming right now in the, <laughs> the cellular matrix. Okay? That's what we see. You see all these other ones? I don't know what these are going to be. I have no clue. They might even be starting to grow as a part of a body. I don't know. These are things that could be seen and could be tested and looked at. But I can't do that part. Anyway, that's how much we can see of this. It's very, very, very interesting. So, we'd like to have um, whoever of medical people look at this and see if they can uh, make any heads or tails of this. But um, I believe fascia is uh, possibly, and this is just a, this is a guess, I, I don't have any big claim on this, but I believe, and from my research, and I did research fascia, I was one of the first ones to really look deeply into it, uh, and um, I believe it is the communication system within your body. We now know that water can have a memory, well, it does have a memory, and I believe it is the intelligent um, network within bodies and creatures, and that is the only possible way that they can do what they do. There is no banging and bumping and everything where it just works, no. There's something that's in control here, and originally it was God, but God created this thing that is just a fabulous piece of work, and uh, the, the thing that it is, is water. Because you, if you don't have water, you don't have life. That's just, we, we just missed the whole thing. Well, you know, I didn't miss it. <laughs> anyway, check this out. This is a uh, medical people. Get a hold of me. I'll tell you what we did here and how we got these pictures. You see it pinching off right here? It's pinching right there and it's spitting this stuff this way and this stuff that way. And I can tell you, I can see inside these structures here, DNA, and I'll show you that in a minute. But look up here. Can you see this over here? That is the, the uh, fascia. And then over here, it swishes up this way. Completely coats the outside of that cell membrane. See it over here? Look at this. All I can tell you is what I'm seeing and you're seeing. Now, I'm going to show you where it really took off, and it took off right from a pinch at one point. All right, you see that? Same fascia coming right from that pinch point that I was talking about. And I'm going to show you what happens as it develops. Hold on, there's more shots. All right, this was pretty soon after. It like it turned blood red and uh, a bunch shot all over in this direction. Then not long after that, this stuff developed in that area. And this is what it looked like at the time we started taking these, um, you know, we finished compiling these uh, pictures of what was happening there. And you can see it's obviously, originally it was like crazy. Now it seems to be weaving over the top of itself. And this is happening everywhere, everywhere, everywhere around this cell now. It seems to be like it has done its job, it knows what it's doing, or it's sent out its signals, or whatever it does. But now, it seems to be consolidating itself and wrapping up. 